What is up everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. In the last episode, we started the Nishirin Maru, uh, Nishirin Maru area, which we are still currently here. We beat, we went against the boss in, at the end of last episode. I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and end it because we have quite a bit more to go, I feel like. So we're back here with some more Nishirin Maru and then we'll probably keep continue going forward. Before we do that though, I, need, I do need to heal up I do need to recover some SP for for Ulala there, but let's go ahead and keep on going. Let's see. It seems to be freaking out a little bit about what's going on, but we should be able to head this way now because the guard is no longer there, so we should be able to finish off the rest of the mapping for this area. This is what I was concerned about before, but we got it now finally. Thank goodness. I was about to say I might not be able to, I was about to say I might not be able to do this, but we were. But yeah, these fights have been pretty easy. And we've been getting some good EXP from these as well. It's always good to just get just get fights going, man. You know, like just keep doing a whole bunch of spells and it helps out. It helps out a lot. So we're gonna, we're gonna probably make this quick. Or as quick as quick as we can make it. But yeah, we got 18,000 experience from the last fight, so we at least our Ulala should be getting a level up here soon. Yep, and she does, level 52. We're getting caught up to where we were at level-wise at the end of Persona 2 and it's in Sin, so that feels it feels pretty good to be at to be at that level. Even without the Light Dragon, we're still getting a good amount of EXP, which I do appreciate. I don't know why, but it feels like it was so much harder to get EXP in in this in this in Sin than it is in this game. So I was like, man, dude, what are we gonna do? But we we're, we got it, we got through. But yeah, I'm pretty, the rest of this dungeon pretty much looks the same, so I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of cutting here. So if you see if you see me starting in weird places, well. That's why. We got three chewing souls. We pretty much made up for what we used just now. Haven't really used the Estoma at all because these guys are giving us some good, some good uh, EXP as well as money. Level 52 for Katsuya. Katsuya is almost maxed out at strength. It's really cool just to think about. He needs 16 more pips to strength, which he gets something to strength every single level up. So, okay, what else am I missing here? This is where I came up from, right? Let's go ahead and head down these stairs. We filled out the map around this area, right? No other steps I need to worry about. Nope. So this is where all the uh, extra areas we hadn't been to are at. We're at. Yeah, we're, we're, we have a lot of money. We're almost sitting at two million, which is pretty nice to think about. Like you know, there's always a point in RPGs where you get so much money you're not even worried about uh, spending it because you'll get it back pretty quick. Okay, we got that. Just still an area over here we have to go to. We can't get to it from here, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna, we're gonna get there as we move forward in this area and actually this is the last map we need to absolutely do because other ones we can just not worry about at least according to the guy which i will gladly i'll gladly do that go these leads us somewhere i don't know if going through this counts as filling out the map i'm going to do it just in case little 51 for balfu and 51 for ellie hey look at that match of nichiren and maru has been completed heck yeah oh and we got a garudine card heck yeah all right, the map has been completed, so we are good to skedaddle on, skedaddle on out of here. Let's head on over to the dock. Hey, look over there! There's still one left. Shit! Sasuzo's trying to sink the ship. Get on that sub and get out of here. Is that Tatsuya in there? Is that you, Tatsuya? You only have a learner's permit. You can't drive that thing. It's dangerous. You don't care. Idiot. What are you babbling about? Get your ass over here. Who are you calling an idiot? Alright, here we go. So this must be the undersea ruins.
And here we go. He must have done this. What a punk. And to top it off, he's smart as well. He's destroyed their only way out. He's got some mad skills. No one's here now. Tetsuya must have gone inside. I remember this feeling. Mr. Kandori, he's here. Say, did these ruins appear because of rumors too? Or has it always been here? I don't know what's real or not anymore. Whoa. What are these dudes? What, what telly? Try contacting these guys. Fashion show. Did you enjoy my hips swaying as I walked? Oh, he liked that. Okay, before I fight these guys, I should probably heal up my... Okay, we got some stairs right there. Oh. This is Mr. Kandori. He's over there. Really? Already? Oh, jeez. Great. Here's the ice map. Apparently, ice map can break uh, a wall for us, which will give us the treasure room, I think. So we're going to want to contact Aishma here. Okay, so with the ice with the Aishma that we, we got it packed with, um, we want to be sure to get some info after making a pact with, because apparently if we get some info, we'll be able to open up this treasure room that we're actually currently in. So if you just want to get some info. There's supposed to be a treasure room at the bottom of this place, but there's no way there's no way into it anyhow. Don't forget about me, darling. So yeah, we just gotta keep doing that until we uh, get all the information we need. So yeah, if we get some more info here, you should get some more info. Heard of the demon Barbados? He used a spell called Great Magnara, really. But yeah, we want to keep getting some info until we get another info about us, another demon that could potentially break the wall, apparently, to get us into the treasure room. So that's what we're trying to go for. So this is the info we wanted to get from Aishma here. How could you get into the treasure room? Trick Leviathan into breaking the wall. He's not the brightest bulb, you know. But that's what we got to do. We got to bump into a Leviathan and hopefully do that. Okay, so I bumped into Leviathan and made a pact with them, and now we can have him break down a wall. Mm, me break, you happy. Me say bye now until we meet the other day. Okay, cool. So the wall should be broken now. Hopefully, we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and head back down to the third basement floor and see what we can grab from there. So it was, where was it? It was this way, I think, or around here somewhere. Yep, broke down a wall for us. Head on down. Let's try to avoid those things if we can. Again, there should be some stuff around here. I think we put in, let's put in a stoma on for now. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Medea too. Now a stoma. Because all these guys are pretty much lower than us, so I'll be on the lookout. I don't know if they're going to all be one location or if it's going to be spread out. I don't know. Here we go all the way down. Oh, oh, jeez! Wow, I completely had that angled wrong. Meteorite S. What, is, what does that do? Unique substance found in a meteorite. Interesting. Hino Irokane. What's that? Legendary metal that existed in ancient Japan. These might be things we need for scorching card. I think that's Miragi Dine actually. I think that's a. I think Scorching is Maragidine. I think. No, it's Freydine. I like it though. Thunderbolt card. What is that? Zeodine, probably? Yep, Zeodine. Frigid card. Bufudine, nice. Quake. That has, that has to be Magnadine or something like that. No, it's. Oh, it's Ma Magnadine. Oh, we're getting some good stuff here, man. Great stuff, actually. Gale card. Garudine, probably. Maybe Magaru Magarudine. Yep, Magarudine. Torrent card. Malakwadine. And Inferno. I think that's Miragidine, actually. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, Miragidine. Heck yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, cool, cool. So now we're out of here. Let's go ahead and continue going forward. Room of Seal. I'm pretty sure that's going to drop us again. Yeah. Look at this little maze right there. So yeah, they just both lead us down. 
the reason I'm using the stone a, a lot here is just because of the fact that it is a maze. It's not just straightforward. There we go. Now we're heading to a new area. New part of the map that we haven't been to yet. Yep, I see the steps right there. Let's go down these steps. Whole new area. But nothing. Nothing of importance here. Literally nothing of importance. That's fine. Duh! I hate that. I actually hate that. A lot. At least it, let, it didn't lead us all the way back to where we were originally. I'm just hugging the wall to see if that leads me to where I'm supposed to be. I do hate... Oh, here we go. Is this it? Oh, I hate this, man. This whole maze. maze. Oh, jeez. Those, those, those guys are tough. They kept ailments after ailments after ailments. Got some good EXP, though, and good money. Well, 53 for Katsia. No! Dang it! Ugh. Check what's over here. Ugh. Why did I do that? Wait, is this the right place? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay. Gotta say, we, we done messed up. Let's use this medicine to heal. And this medical powder. And this rattle drink. Just be sure my back at full. We're about, to, we're about to fight a boss here. So, please, no more pitfalls. Just lead me to the boss. Item breeder. Oh, here we go. It's like, where the heck am I going? Mr. Kandori. You're a little late. We just finished breaking the seal. This is the seal that controls a dragon. There are 11 more of these throughout the world, and they've all been released. Dragons, a huge energy flowing underground now. We're releasing the Kagare with the dragon. This world will be obliterated. Right now, Gozen and Tatsuzo sama are headed towards Torofune. You've lost. I'd like to tell you to chase them, but it's just a peon. I can't just let you return, please. Honor me by being my opponents. Go to strategy real quick. We're going to switch out Katsia's persona just real quick to Minotaur. Let's stop Minotaur because we're going to want to use Wall of Earth because this is just last all the entire fight. And honestly, Chizuru is weak to physical, so we're just gonna have to just attack, just bombard her with physical attacks, and hopefully, e eventually kill her. So, except Maya's gonna heal. Maya's gonna be our healer here. So I'll, make, I'll put Maya last, actually. And however I want to do this, I don't really care. That's your job, just in case, you never know. And hopefully we can hit the right one. Okay, I think that's the real one right there. Can't tell which one's which because they all use take on all use moves. Oh, we had Tetraja, thank goodness. Oh, well, can't really do it more than once. Oh, wait, does it last for the rest of the. It might. Oh, th there's a real one. Nice. You heal up. Good. I think the better thing to do here. Pretty sure it, like you can't even do anything, so you, you can only attack. Keep doing that, I guess, until she decides to use a, that same strategy with her little backup or whatever. 
Twin Slash is the way to go with Tetsuya, because that's going to do the most damage. My stuck stuck on Fury. I mean, I could use an, an item to heal it. Let's do that. Have Balfu attack this one. Have Tetsuya attack that one. And we'll have Ellie attack this one. Hopefully, we can get it. So, back to Maya using healing. Right. Ulala to attack. It's not these two. Let's try to attack you. Katsuya. Let's attack this one. Then Ellie. Have her attack this one down here. Ooh, myriad arrows. Ooh. Very effective on Balfu there, but that's fine. He's not dead, so that's good. Here we go. Close to death here. Come on. Just finish this off. Please don't use the protection thing again. Okay, no, Myriad Arrows is fine. It does a good, does a good amount of damage, but it's not going to kill us. There we go. Ooh, 18,000, 50,000 money. Ooh, man. Balfu and Ellie level up to 52. You're looking good. Magnificent. But it is not easy for one to embrace but the shadows to escape from its grasp. Can you break the chains of fate? That's why I came. I'll never let that sadness happen again. Ha. <laughs> Hurry. Leave before it's too late. This place won't last much longer. You must come with us. Don't hum humiliate me with your sympathy. Yeah, get out of here. You wanted to hear the words from the boy. I regret leading you to this end. No, I was happy just to be with you. Oh. I can never tell if the game audio is too loud or my mic audio is too low. I can never tell. Because, like, when I look at it, when I look at my OBS, the game audio looks super loud, right? But when I look at my, but my game audio is also like, I don't know, man. But luckily, I can just adjust in editing, but still. It's still not cool. We're suing that kid. What are you doing? The water is rising. Hurry, come with us. Come on, Tatsuya. Ugh. Here we go, here we go. Getting away from the undersea ruins. Wait, see ya. What exactly are you hiding? Can't you tell us by now? Please, don't get involved with me. Come on, Tetsu, you gotta explain it to us. What the, what the hell's going on? Hey, do you know what your, that your brother is saving money from his paycheck for you? How do you know that? He had Nanjo can research you. He really hates to lose. 
Amano went through a lot just to see you. She was even marked for death by a joker because of that idiot there. Haven't you done enough all by yourself? I'm not your little brother. What the hell do you mean? You are my brother, no matter what! Easy there, Suo. If I talk, will you back off? Depends on what you say, right, Amano? Wait, so is it... Okay, is it that this Tatsuya is the one from Innocent Sin that came into this world, or is this the Tatsuya in this reality? I'm thinking it's... I'm, what I'm thinking is, this is the Tatsuya from Innocent Sin that was sent over here to avoid anything from happening. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting the feeling of with the way he said I'm not your little brother. Like he is his little he is his little brother, but not his actual little brother in this universe, I guess you could say. Or or just to separate it on this side. Because on the opposite side, you know, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm I'm, I'm thinking it might this might be the Tatsuya from Innocent Sin, not the Tatsuya of Eternal Punishment. I think. I could be very wrong. Come with me to the Elias Shrine. Okay, well, we can't, we can't leave it here. We have to find out what's going on. What's, what the hell's going on? Or maybe, you know what? You know what? Let's actually wait until next episode. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. All right, y'all. So that is going to end off this episode. This is going to be a shorter episode. Hope y'all don't mind that. Oh, <coughs> my goodness. Excuse me. We did do two dungeons back to back, so it is pretty tiring. But I think it's better that we wait until the next episode to see what what the heck's going on. We want to go we want to go around to every other place, every every part of the city like we did, every, like we do every before every single dungeon. So if you enjoyed this episode, y'all, go ahead and hit that like button. I know it's a shorter episode. Hope y'all don't mind it. But I'm still having fun. The game is still. I'm loving the game still. I think we're at 34 hours of the game now. We've been playing this game for 34 hours, I think. But anyways, guys, thank y'all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Become a royalty today. We'd love to have you in our community. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so very much for watching, and I can't wait to see y'all in the next episode. See y'all then.